So in this question, we're asked to express x squared plus 8x minus 7, a quadratic expression, in this particular form where we've got an expression squared. This process is called completing the square. Now, if we look at a few squares, for instance, x plus 1 times x plus 1, then you'll notice when you do your first outsides, insides, lasts, that the outside 2, 1x, and the inside 2, 1x, combine to give you that middle term 2x. If we do similarly x plus 2 squared, x plus 2 times x plus 2, we'll get an x squared, then the outside 2, 2x, inside 2 or 2x, 2x plus 2x gives you 4x. This middle term with the x in it always is twice this number. So this 8x here is going to be twice the number that appears there. So this would give you the idea that we should be squaring x plus 4. Now if we do an x plus 4 squared, x plus 4 times x plus 4, we'll get x squared plus 4x plus 4x, that's your 8x, plus lasts give you 16. So that's x squared plus 8x plus 16. Now, it wasn't a 16 that we were wanting. Let's disappear it. We'll take away 16. It was a minus 7, so we'll put a minus uh, 7 at the end there. So all that I've done here is written an x plus 4 all squared, which is this expression said I don't want this 16, so I've taken it away, and put in a minus 7, which is what I did want. So we've got an x plus 4 squared, minus 16, minus 7, remember your number line, minus 16, minus another 7, would be minus 23. Now, if you compare how they wanted this to be written, we can see we've done it where A is 4 and B is negative 23. We're adding negative 23 at the end. So we expressed x squared plus 8x minus 7 in the required form. So that would be sufficient for the answer. Remember, if you're asked to give the values of a and b, which were not in this case, you would give the values a is 4, b is negative 23. So that part is not particularly required in this question for full marks. So x plus 4 all squared minus 23.